Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is a video about fans and cooling in my vSphere 7 home lab. So in a previous video you saw the Dell T3610 videos that I've upgraded my lab to. Um, what you'll see from some of these photographs here is that at the back of the server, there's ample room here for another uh, case fan. Uh, which is what I fitted here. So this is an additional aftermarket fan that I've fitted to the back of the server. Um, only things to say here really are that I've fitted it to the USB slot that was free on the internal side of it and I've run the cables down the back um, of the PCI slots or clips here and then into this slot there. Um, so I'll show you a little bit more detail on that. So that's where the USB um, slot on the board is and that's how it's plugged into um, to power the fan on the back of the case. Uh, the fan I selected is one from eBay. Uh, I think it was an 80mm 80, 80, um, 80 fan or maybe 86mm fan. Uh, it comes with a metal grill on both sides. One of those I've removed and I've removed it on the side that the air flows out of. So you'll see here on the front there's, a, there's a, an indication of which direction the fan spins and which way the air pushes. And once that has been removed, I've then put it on the inside of the case. And you'll see here that I've reused the same screws that used to hold that baffle on uh, to screw through the back of it to hold it in place. And just another view of it there. So just as I said there, I've removed the metal grill from one side, looked which way the fan spins and the airflow works, and then used the same screws that used to hold the grill in place um, through the back of the case to hold it in position. So there's a screw from the back and a, and a zoomed up version of how the screw just fits through the hole and holds the fan in place. Um, the wires run along the back of the PCI uh, clips and slots and you'll see that the wire is deliberately trapped under the last clip there just to keep it in place um, and goes into that USB 2 slot on the back of the motherboard. Um, you'll also see that um, under the hard drive bay there's another wire coming through here this is for a thermometer which I'm going to show you about next um, so there's where we clip it in and there's the slot that it clips on the motherboard um, and there's the wire for the thermometer which is routed from the front of the case all the way through the hard drive bay um, on towards the top of the power supply unit so this is the thermometer uh, I've chosen, it's just an LCD thermometer from eBay, it uses two LR44 button cells, um, I replaced mine as soon as I got it because it was already weak, um, and the only thing to say about this is that the temperature probe, which is this part here, I've, I've wrapped that around the wire that uh, hosts the fan, so that this part, the actual sensor, can be floating in mid-air, rather than resting against the fan, so I'm getting an accurate temperature for ambient temperature, rather than the temperature of the PSU. Uh, exterior. So again, just showing that that um, sensor is actually floating in mid-air rather than uh, against any metal object. Um, so this is a view of what the front of the server looks like now. So here, um, it is just the, the mesh from the front of the case. The plastic baffle that it's normally supplied with has been removed. So this plastic baffle was just getting in the way of the airflow. So I've removed it and now have it um, open. Um, and the thermometer that I talked about before has been mounted on the top of the cage just using some double sided tape so you can now see from the outside of the server what the temperature is inside um, and what I've done since then is because there was a free five and a quarter bay I've bought another uh, five and a quarter fan I really would have liked a black one uh, but there were no uh, black ones in stock so I've had to go for this cream one so it doesn't look quite as good as it could have done but essentially I've stuck that in the five and a quarter bay next to the CD-ROM. So we now have uh, a fully exposed front for the three fans on the front, these here. Um, the CD-ROM slimline one is in the middle and that empty five and a quarter bay has now been replaced with this fan which has two um, smaller fans inside and uh, a removable filter on the front. Uh, because it's powered by a Molex connector um, I had to buy this adapter to take a SATA power um, to a uh, amp stroke Molex. So that's the other fan that I've added uh, into the server. So that's an overview of um, how I'm, uh, I've kitted out my new servers with fans and cooling as part of the vSphere 7 uh, home lab. So thank you for your time and I hope you found that useful.